Right foot X-ray A right foot X-ray is a necessary part of the diagnostic process. The radiologist uses a digital X-ray machine to take pictures of the foot. The image is taken in frontal view. This angle is practical because it allows the viewer to tell whether the image is of the left or the right foot. The doctor may take several images to determine the extent of the problem. A patient should be prepared to sit still and be calm during the procedure. The image shows the bones and soft tissues of the foot. An X-ray is a type of X-ray that is completely safe. The X-ray film catches the image of the foot in black and white. The density of dense structures shows up as white while the softer tissues appear darker. The patient will be exposed to radiation for only a few seconds and the test will take approximately 15 to 20 minutes. A right foot x-ray can reveal soft tissue gas in the dorsum of the foot and anterior ankle. These findings are consistent with necrotizing fasciitis. Further, a CT of the right foot revealed multiple locules of gas and fluid, suggesting emphysematous osteomyelitis. The patient's foot was also characterized by extensive subcutaneous emphysema. X-rays of the foot are completely safe and can show the bones and soft tissues in detail. The image is captured on a special X-ray film and is typically in black and white. The dense structures are seen as white while the soft tissues are dark. The total exposure time to radiation is less than a second. However, the overall test may take from 15 to 20 minutes. In general, a right foot X-ray can help diagnose a number of health conditions. X-rays of the foot can be done from front and back. Unlike in the case of other injuries, the standard projection will show the foot from the front. A right foot X-ray will show the problem and recommend a treatment. The radiologist will analyze the image and suggest the best treatment for the patient. It is important to choose a doctor that has the right X-rays. A right foot X-ray is safe and a convenient diagnostic tool. It helps doctors see the bones in the foot and soft tissues in the foot. The image is recorded on a special X-ray film. The image is black and white. Hard and dense structures appear white while softer ones are darker. During the test, three pictures of the feet are typically taken. An MRI of the foot and ankle will reveal fractures, neoplasms, and septic arthritis. A right foot X-ray shows the bones of the foot and soft tissues of the ankle. Unlike MRIs, an X-ray is safe and can be used to find the source of a problem. In addition to the X-ray, it can also be used to diagnose problems that may have occurred in the foot. An MRI of the foot can also detect the cause of the problem. The radiologist will then be able to recommend a treatment plan for the patient. A right foot X-ray is a non-invasive diagnostic procedure. It allows doctors to see the bones and soft tissues of the foot. During the test, the radiologist will view the foot from different angles. The image will be in black and white. The dense structures will be visible while the soft ones will be darker. The X-ray will show the bone structure in the foot. There will be three images of the foot in the right foot, one of which will be a normal image. The X-ray of the right foot is a safe procedure. The image is produced by the test of black and white and show the soft tissues and bones of the foot. An X-ray of the right foot is usually taken in two positions, side by side. Typically, three X-rays are needed for a diagnosis. The first of these two views will show the foot's bones and soft tissues. Normal foot X-ray, normal foot X-ray, normal foot X-ray.